What is up awesome people and welcome to my Pokemon trading card game online let's play for online matches. Okay so as name would suggest I'm going up against people around the world online using the Pokemon trading card game online um, program. So for those who have been tuning into my card opening series we know that by now I've opened up quite a lot of decks and some really good cards as well as some good um, trainer cards, support items and etc etc. So I've gone and made myself a decent deck, a lot better than the other deck that I used in the mock battle. And I used it in a, like just a practice run to see if the deck was suitable enough for an online match and it went pretty well actually. So. I'm going to try and do some online matches, see how they run, see if I've actually got the skills to be able to do decently at these type of videos. So um, I think the first thing we'll do is take a quick brief look at my deck. Um, it's called Darkness Prevails, um, as the name would suggest it's going to be a dark um, Pokemon themed deck. The only two colorous cards that I've got in my deck are two EV cards because I am using Umbreon in this deck. So as you can see, there's a lot of dark Pokemon here. I'm only using 19 Pokemon cards, 26 trainer cards, and 15 energy cards, which is pretty small actually for energy cards. Same with Pokemon. Uh, actually, there's a little bit more Pokemon in this deck in the last one, I think. Um, plus, there's a little less trainer cards than I'm usually working, but a lot better trainer cards this time around. I'm actually using more suitable um, support and trainer cards for the deck that I'm using. So I'm not using Everlight in this deck because there's no standalone Pokemon like Aldino or Dunsparce that who can really utilize it very well. And once the Pokemon evolves, Everlight is actually kind of useless. So I'm not, I'm sticking away from Everlight this time around. Uh, I've got cards like Pokeball this time. I've got Sharon in there. I've got N in here this time. Um, I'm, if Tossing up between using Sky Arrow Bridge in this deck actually, it has been used against me already and I didn't particularly like that. So I may be switching that up later with Battle City or maybe another um, stadium card later on or just removing the stadium card altogether. I haven't quite figured out yet what I'm doing with that. But I'm hoping to have a few more matches and I'll see whether or not what I'm going to do with that. So I've already got my settings up. Um, I'm hoping to get like a standard battle, not a unlimited battle because that would suck if they had like more than 60 cards. It means I can't really deck them out. So here comes the long part. So I may cut out a bit of the video if I can't find a battle straight away. So shall I catch you guys when I actually find an opponent. Okay, so we actually found a match. Um, it took quite some time, actually. So this is up against Obro3000. Okay, so actually the nerves had just kicked in just then. So he's flipping the coin, gets a head. So I'm assuming... No, he actually chose Tails. So yes, I'll go first. I like having the advantage of going first. Okay, so I got Eevee as my only basic Pokemon to bring out onto the field. That's an alright start for me because I know a fighting weakness is the only thing I've got and Sweet they're using a water deck. Alrighty, so they're going to lead with Suicune. It's got the safeguard ability preventing all effects um, of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX cards. That's fine. I have no EX cards in my deck. The good thing about this is he does require three energy cards, so he won't be able to attack for quite some time unless he's got a double colorless energy card in his deck plus some, well I'm assuming he's got plenty of water energy cards. Um, I've got three energy cards already in my hand, I probably won't need to play Silent as of yet, so I'm just going to end my turn now and let him draw out his turn and see what he does. Also on his bench he's got Squirtle and he just played a water energy card on his Suicune and that's all that he can do. I drew a sand dial which I'm going to be placing onto my bench, following up with another darkness energy onto my Eevee which is going to allow me to use Tower Web onto his Suicune dealing 20 damage, which is an alright start since he really can't do anything. Um, that's the only drawback of getting Suicune as your active lead. You're going to be sitting there for about a couple of turns waiting to draw energy cards to be able to use Suicune. So I just drew a potion, um, I'm going to whack a energy card onto Sandal and then evolve my Sandal into Kruko Rock. Kruko Rock? Yeah. Um, so I need at least four Darkness energy cards to be able to perform my best move. Um, from here I'm probably going to use my Silent card now, just draw three energy cards from my D. 
dick. Well, yeah, for my dick. Alright, three. So I'm just gonna put them into my hands. So this is a solid, solo dark deck. Well, he seems to have some fire energy into his deck, which so makes me lead to believe that he's got a mixture of fire and water types in his deck, which could be really interesting. So I'm just gonna go for Tower Whip there, dealing another 20 damage on Suicune, 40 damage in total, 60 health left. He evolves his Squirtle into War Turtle on his bench, places another fire energy card onto his Suicune, which will allow him to use Aurora Beam, which is going to one-shot my Eevee. And yes, I do not have a water weakness, which is good. I've got a fighting weakness, so um, I can stand up to this weekend pretty easily, actually. Unfortunately, I do not have my best move up and ready to go, but I can just go straight for the mud slap and deal 30 damage to this thing, which is going to bring it up to 19 damage. 10 more damage, and that Suicune goes down. So he's placed, he's now evolved it into Blastoise, there is absolutely no energy cards onto this Blastoise, so if this Suicune does go down, um, he will not be able to do absolutely anything. He needs four energy cards on his Blastoise to be able to do, abs um, do anything. He has no basic energy cards on his side of the field either, so I'm going to play Sky Arrow Bridge on my side as a stadium card, then use a potion onto Kruko Rock, heal 20 damage there. Then I'm going to lay down another Darkness Energy onto Kruka Rock and then go for another Mud Slap, which is going to take out the Suicune. So there goes his best Pokemon. And with that, he's got absolutely nothing he can really do on his side of the field since his Blastoise only has one Energy Card on there as it is and it needs four Energy Cards of any type to be able to pull a Hydro Pump. Although once it does get those four Energy Cards, that thing is going to be an absolute monster. So he's got two Energy Cards, but he will not be able to do absolutely anything. So I'm going to whack down a Rocky Helmet onto my Crooker Rock, and then I'm going to put my final Darkness Energy onto Crooker Rock and go straight for the Corkscrew Punch, dealing 70 damage onto Blastoids. So one more Corks Corkscrew Punch, and that's going to take Blastoids out. Whew. My only fear is he's going to draw um, a Double Colorist Energy card, which is going to screw me over. Besides from that, that Gaily isn't really much of a threat either. It's got no energy cards as well, so he's in a really tight predicament here with a very lackluster energy cards and the fact that he can't really do anything at the, this point in time. And with that, his Blastoids also goes down as well. So even if he does deal damage to my Crooker Rock, I've got Rocky Helmet there to deal 20 damage to the defending Pokemon as well. Um, I draw a Darkness Energy there from my prize pool. So this is going to be really interesting because he's Gaily only has 100 health. By the time he gets another energy card, well the two energy cards he needs, which he doesn't have, onto his Gaily, it would have gone down to two Corkscrew Punches already. So that's 70 damage already laid onto Gaily. 30 more damage and that thing goes down. So at the moment I've built a pretty stable side on my side of the field with Crooker Rock already there. Um, it already has 40 damage there. I've already got the Rocky Helmet up onto it. I've got two energy cards on Murkrow. I just need three if I evolve it into Murkrow. I've got another Sandile ready to go. Um, I've got a Blissey there, I just need Chansey. As for my supports go, um, if I can start getting some ends, that would be really great. So he's going to put a Fire Energy onto his Gaily. That's about the only thing this guy can probably do at this point in time. Um, so yeah, his Gaily's going to go down. Unfortunately, his best move probably would have been putting the Energy Card onto his Bench Pokemon. Letting his Gaily go down and then he would have been able to attack straight away with Bubble and have a chance of paralyzing my Crooker Rock. But that is not the case. Or he could have put down another energy card and gone straight for Water Gun. But if he doesn't put down another, which he's going to do, so he's put a Snorlax down on his bench. It's got 60 health. Uh, this has got 50, so both will go down in one shot to Corkscrew Punch. Nothing is going to happen. I just get my Chansey, which is excellent, so I can start building up um, support from my bench. Um, Blissey has the ability Softball for those who tuned in for the episode where I actually pulled this. I can. Once per turn, I can actually choose Blissey regardless of where it sits on the field, use its softball ability, and heal my active Pokemon if I flip it heads by 30 health. So that is really, really, well, it's very, oh sweet, I just threw N. So I can use my energy card, use Blissey, then use N. He just made Frostlass, he's only got one energy card. 
Is he going to be able to play anything? What's his ability? Oh, that's right, I got no special energy cards anyway, so Cursed Body is not going to affect me. And with that, he cannot do anything. So with that, I'm going to do a Darkness Energy on Sandile. I'm going to evolve Chansey into Blissey. Then I'm going to follow it up using the Softballed ability. I do flip ahead, so that's going to be 30 health healed onto my active Pokemon, which is Crooker Rock. Bring it down to 10 damage. And then I'm just going to follow it up with N. Just draw two, two Pokemon into my hand. I'm then going to use the Pokeball card. I unfortunately flip a tail, so that's not going to work. If it did work, I probably would have drew Eevee into my hand. Played that onto the field next turn, would have evolved into Umbreon. That's alright, so I just deal 70 damage to his Frostlass. If he cannot draw anything into his bench on this turn, then it is basically GG. <sighs> come on, come on. So the score at the moment is currently 5-2 my way. So he's just put down a, ooh, a white Kyrim EX. So that's why he's got the fire and water in his deck. So he has just saved himself from dying next turn, but again, he does rely on quite a lot of energy cards to be able to pull this off. He needs at least three energy cards on this one to be able to pull off Dragon Steam. But even by the time he gets at least that, um, I would have at least knocked it out. I think I saw 140 health on Black Kyrim EX. No, sorry, it's not EX, it's normal. Um, 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 um. Well, I think it's normal anyway. Right, so... Oh, it's got 180, so it's going to be a three-shotter. So he's got three turns. But as um, I can just keep healing um, Crooker Rock anyway, and I'm going to leave at least one Dragon Steam. So I just drew Cheren, which is good. And I get a Rocket Helmet, which I am then going to putting onto my Murkrow. I, I'm i hoping I draw... Um, I don't want to use that. Oh, okay, so item and supporter count as the same thing. Freak! Well, that screwed I that idea up. I was hoping to use N, get rid of my hand, and then hope I get Honchkrow for backup in case Crook Rock goes down, or at least get a Crook Deal and go into my stage 2 Pokemon. Which would speed this up quite a lot. So one more hit, that white Kyrim goes down, which will leave his Frostlass left. So even if he does put another Pokemon onto the bench, I am, I've all my prizes would have been drawn by then. But he does need to land pretty hard hit on my Crooker Rock to take this out. He actually would need Ice Burn, but he needs at least two Fire Energy cards on this to be able to pull that off too. Whew. So he's deciding what to do here. He's nearly out of options if he's got no energy cards. He really does need to put down an energy card this turn to make this turn count. Otherwise, this would be looking towards a GG. Or a f Surrender? Someone has surrendered on me. That was the last game I did. Um, I basically just had a full bench of full evolutions. I drew them in the first couple of turns using Pokeball and N and a few other cards as well that I've got in this deck and it was just unreal how quickly the brute force of this deck came and I think I might start getting stalled out actually. Hmm. Nope, I'm just going to play a card. Right, so I've just got my Crooker Rock, I'm going to evolve my Sand Doll into that. Followed up by using the card N, so yes, I'm going to decrease the size of my hand. I'm going to get Silent and Pokeball, so I'm going to use the Pokeball, try and crook get Crocodile. Yes, I get the head, so I can either go Honchkrow or Crocodile, depending who I've got. I give Crocodile, Croc okay, Crocodile is not in my deck, I am going to go Honchkrow. Oh, you got to be kidding me, it's in my prize pool. Well, I'm going Honchkrow then. Just as backup in case he does manage to knock out that um, Crook Rock, but I kind of don't see that happening to be honest. Unless he pulls an absolute miracle out of absolutely nowhere, which is probably not going to happen now since White Kyrim did go down to that move. And there was my Crocodile, so that was uh, GG. Whew! So that was fun. Um, again, I didn't actually expect the deck to do that well, even without Crocodile. In my deck, um, Crook Rock managed to pull off most of the hard-hitting hits. 
Okay, so that's the end of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, make sure to leave a like and a comment on any particular cards that you'd like to see me start using. Um, I'm later on going to be trying to build some EX decks. I'm not a big fan of EX Pokemon at this point in, in time because I don't feel very confident using them in decks unless I'm very confident they're going to be able to work. Um, but yeah, comment any suggestions on any decks that you want me to build, like any a particular type of deck that you want me to build, a particular deck using any type of Pokemon that you want to see, anything like that, any suggestions you want to see me try and do in a deck because I'm up for a challenge as far as deck building. I've got plenty of cards to be able to do it, so yeah, may as well go over the challenge. But yeah, um, I'm going to try and continue doing these online matches since people are requesting me to do them, so I'll try my best to pull off at least a decent battle. So anyways, um, that's it for this battle, uh, this episode, so until the next episode, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!